What's up guys, it's P229 here. We are going back into it. This is going to be great. Cat, stop meowing. <laughs> We're going back into it. Um, we had just gotten attacked by what I assume was the guy who, um, um, yes. Anyways, uh, let's, let's do this. It's another beautiful day. It's morning time. And Kyoko has saved us, apparently. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. Get ready to greet another beautiful day! It took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. Ah. I had a deep sigh to bring myself up to up the rest of the way. The chills, the aches, the unfor unfathomable link uh, uh, lethargy. They had all disappeared in the night. All that was left was me, drenched in sweat. It wasn't just because of whatever bug I'd caught either. It was also the dream I'd had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? I was so desperate to recall it. Scrambled to grab onto fragments of the dream and reel them up from the depths of my memory. That's right, I remember last night. He was hella sick. I came down with a fever and I couldn't quite get to sleep. And I, I heard a voice I didn't really understand and then... All of a sudden I was awake. Okay, this is our thumbnail. Well, you gotta love it. And there was a strange person standing next to my bed wearing a mask. And they were holding a knife. I want to say I'd fought them off, but I don't actually remember. It felt like my mind had been drenched or detached from my body, burning up with fever. I was somewhere far away, watching my body move on its own, and because of that, I don't remember what really happened. Still, I feel like I resisted them desper desperately, feverishly. After that, things go black again. The next thing I remember... Is Kyoko. Kyoko was there. And we'll take a picture of this, too. Um, just... Um, but what would she have been doing in my room? Just in case for that one, for this one, another one for that one. Yeah. What a strange dream. No, was it really a dream? How can I possibly find out either way? The knife. See if the knife is still there. Open up the just drawer end. Huh. It's empty. There's nothing inside. Wait, nothing inside? That's strange. Because it definitely wasn't before. Positive, I put the knife that I got from Toko in here. Wait, that means the knife they took me to keep safe. I knew it, I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream after all. But if, if that's true, this all makes even less sense. Why would someone have wanted to attack me? And who was that behind the mask? And why was Kyoko? What the hell is going on? Well, I don't think I'm going to figure it out on my own. I should head to the dining hall. And I can talk to everyone else about it. You're there? Yes. Hmm. That's a weird. Hey Makoto. Yep, that's Makoto, sure as the sky's blue. Hey Hina. Um the fuck is everyone else at? You really had me worried, you know. What happened to you last night? Worried? Cause, I mean... Yeah, right after midnight, mid night nighttime hit, we all went to get you. We were hammering away at, at your doorbell, but you never answered. You thought maybe you'd been, you know... <laughs> I mean, not that they that actually happened. I mean, nobody here would wanna, you know... So anyway, what were you doing? I didn't feel good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. But why did you come and get me? Did something happen? Mm. Um, well, lots of stuff. Actually, I'm not sure I can really explain. Okay. 
Let's go meet up with everyone else. Then they can tell you all about it. So is every everyone waiting somewhere else or something? Right. Oh yeah, we all stayed up the whole night. The whole night? <laughs> I lost I lost that rock paper scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everyone. Okay. So you got here just in time. Come on, help me carry it. Uh, okay, sure. <laughs> Everyone's in the gym. Hurry up, I'll meet you there. The gym? Why is everyone in the gym? And the entire night? Nani the fuck? I wonder what happened. Hmm. Ah, there he is. Huh? Oh, this is worse than being late for your wedding. Birth of your own son and your own funeral all at once. What? Jeez, to show up now. Like it's no big deal. <laughs> you made us stay up all night while you slept like a baby in your bed. Just like Kina said, everyone was there besides Kyoko. Then I noticed. It formed a circle around something. As soon as I saw what that something was. What the... Before I could catch myself, I cry out. Spread out in the front of them were the remains of Monokuma. What are you doing? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Dismantling? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. This is uh, the thumbnail for this video. <laughs> We're getting thumbnails all around, guys. Good thumbnail material. Let's go. Not even hmm. Relax, there's no danger. You say that, but... What is this? What are you guys doing? Let's talk to Hina first, because I love you. Seriously, what are you thinking? How can you say tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? It isn't. Uh, do you want us to stay? Hey, come on. Well, I guess I'll handle this. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto, because that's how much I like you. Hmm. Yaki will find this, a little fella laying around when we tore it apart. Then we tore it apart. That doesn't explain anything. What? Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try and talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance. I found him here, just like normal. However... When I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. Saying he wasn't moving at all? Hmm. I waited there until mid until nighttime officially began, but still Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move. So I immediately initiated the disassembly process. <laughs> It was Master's stroke of genius, a chance to find out what made Monokuma tick. One thing we discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. It's leagues beyond any normal remote control toy. Who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? Besides that, what I'm wondering is, why did he stop moving all of a sudden? I thought maybe he'd malfunctioned, but we didn't find any cause as we were taking him apart. So if he didn't break down, other words. then maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind, something unexpected. Can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected. <laughs> they were probably scared of master. They ran away in terror. Be... Or maybe they got sick or something. Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? It was that, if not the mastermind? Oh, I'm sure that's a recording. It's set to a timer and plays as necessary. Mm. That's true. He says the exact same thing every day, right? Hey. hey guys, I don't think now's a good time for light conversation. You know? Just found something. What is it? I just found something. What is it? It it's huh? it's what? Hm. A bomb. There's no one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. What what? A b, b bomb That's super bad. We need to get rid of it. Ro Roger that. It appears the bomb has a motion sensor. 
Any sudden movement, it's sure to go off. Motion sensor. But serious? Oh, I'm starting to get all shaky. Hey, get it together. You're a man, aren't you? I'm fine. I'm totally fine. <laughs> You're not. You're so not fine. You're all... Ahahaha. <laughs> Oh, I probably should have mentioned the motion sensor is off right now. <laughs> Jeez, don't scare me like that! God, you're like the world's most spineless worm of the century. Don't be mean. Hey, come on! The century is just getting started. Don't call me you. Don't call the race already. <sighs> Whatever. Just hurry up and put the bomb down. Hang it on onto it. It's not g gonna do anyone any good. Um, but yeah, good call. Well. Okay, it's down. Everything's all good. Here I put the bomb down, but that wasn't my main concern at that point. My eyes were glued to Monokuma's remains. It just stopped moving all of a sudden. Was it really because something had happened to the mastermind that they weren't expecting? But what could have what could that have been when I thought about it yesterday? I couldn't help but think back to the night before. Been attacked by that mas by that masked figure. Just a second. Hey, um, Makoto. Uh huh. Hey. Don't haunt us. Did you hear a thing we just said? Huh? Mm -hmm. So that's a no. What are you? Some kind of brain dead farm animal? S sorry. Mm. We were saying since we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? <laughs> We've decided to continue on our offensive assault. It's all clear now. To try and cover the mastermind's true identity, we're going to break into the mastermind's head master, headmaster's room. Really? Naturally. Since the mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance, wouldn't you agree? But if the mastermind comes back while we're in there, what? If you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. <laughs> or go live in the chicken coop with all the other chickens. You could be chicken number six. Such ignorant. This is a battle. A fight to the death between us and the master. We don't have time to delib deliberate. Oh, there's water. Thank the Lord Jesus. I knew I had a water in here somewhere. Is this my water? The outside is all like dirty. I don't know what the fuck happened to that water, but if I die, it's because of that water. I don't have to kill it. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else, but we have a chance now. Come on. So, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna run away or are you gonna fight? You're right. I'll go with you. It's all clear. Okay then. We're going to break into the headmaster's room. Everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen, so prepare yourself. I'll follow you anywhere, Master, to all the ends to the earth. Sucker, if you can hear me, lend me your strength. How about that? I can do this. I'm a man, and I can do this. I've got the will of the entire universe on my side. Uh, we each found determination in our own ways. <gasps> and we were ready, we left the gym. Our target was the headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school. So we ran. <laughs> Alright, I'm back, guys. Uh, for some reason, my throat really got fucked up there. I had a bunch of phlegm in my throat, so I just spat it out real quick. We're going to the headmaster's room. Hina, what do you have to say about this? Tucker's gonna be watching over us. So we're definitely gonna find something to help us bring this to the end. Okay, whatever. <laughs> battle, battle. It's locked, as expected. So what are you gonna do? What? Isn't obvious. We're going to tear this door off its hinges. Wait, but the rules say 
We've seen that the Mastermind isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But, but like Malkoto said, Mastermind did show up while we were in there. So in other words, and we'll just have to finish your business before that can happen. Hey. Okay, sure, but what? We've come this far. We can't go back now. We agreed. This is what we have to do. So we have to do it. <laughs> so beautiful. I mean, but serious. We don't have a choice. We're desperate. Okay. Let's do it. Let's rip this door down. Actually. Okay, but how are we gonna do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. Hmm. And we'll need something sturdy of our own. Oh. What about that one thing? Thing in the tool shed. Oh, so then. Oh yeah, the pickaxe. I see. Interesting. That could very well be exactly what we need. Hmm. Now then, Toko, what time is it? <laughs> well, when we left the gym, it was just before nine o'clock, so it's probably nine on the dot now. It's all clear now. Okay, go get the pickaxe to be back here by nine o one. That's straight up unreasonable. I, I by myself. Naturally. Sure, you like to have your me time once in a while, right? <laughs> well, if it's me and you time, master, then yeah. What? You know how much time it took you to say that? Ten seconds. Take too long and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. <laughs> Unacceptable! But that took a run off loud as a herd of rabid elephants. Very hey. serious though, are we just gonna knock this door down? <laughs> no problem, it's solved by running away. Find your stones and be a man. He's right. I'm not in center screen, am I? You can't move forward by always avoiding danger. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, <laughs> You'll never move forward. That's the one thing I don't like about this game is they keep flashbacking. We know the danger, but it's a risk to mean solve mystery. Yeah, no guys. Am I wrong? Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenge in front of us. Um, maybe, but I'm still super stressed. I'm so tense I can hardly talk. I'm all flubburst. No. Totally flab bag. Flabs. There. Flap sauce? Gross. Where'd that come from? Wait, Genesis, chill. Where do you come from? Hello, hello. It's the wonderifus, murderous fiend here to greet you with a razor sharp smile. Come on. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? You're not supposed to pick an axe? No, you seeping imbecile. The pickaxe. Seeping imbecile? Oh, master, you wound me up with your ex executive level bar barbs. Here comes the bloody nose! Seriously, though, did you really forget the pickaxe? Omega 3 fatty acids. What's. That's what you need. Great for the old memory factor. But I think we already established that their memory doesn't carry over when they switch. This is a level of useful. Uselessness I find difficult to tolerate. Mm, yes, yes. Ah, the light bulb just went on. I see. That's why I went to, to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. <laughs> Alright, we've solved one mystery. That means there's just one more mystery left. One more mystery? Hmm. Yep, now we just need to figure out the identity of Object X. So, <clears throat> now, what are you talking about? <sighs> Did you ever forget what we were talking about? You're like, missing out on life. I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. What? What did you find? Huh? Ku ora corpus. Co corpse. Did you hear me? I said corpse. A corpse? That's right. I found a corpse in the garden. Found a corpse in the garden? What? What did you say? Well, well then. Before we enter the headmaster's room, it appears we have something else to look into. Come on. Going to the garden. Uh, okay. <clears throat> it's the guy with the mask. As soon as we entered the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but... I saw someone lying on the ground with a mask covering their face. There was a knife, buried in their stomach up to the hilt. What the? 
are they really dead? For sure, but who is it? Holy fuck. Oh, it's just 20 minutes. Okay, I was just gonna end it there, but there's 20 minutes. It's just 20 minutes. Just to make things clear. Last night, I was attacked by someone wearing a mask. And whoever that was, now they're... <clears throat> I don't know why, but now they're lying dead in front of me. I told you, there's a corpse hanging out here. Are they really dead? Is this really a dead body? Need to begin looking around right away. Be ever so careful. There's no telling what you might find. I want to take off the mask. We need to find out who this actually is. But there's no way to tell with the mask covering the face like that. And the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell anything about the body itself. The victim is a total mystery. One thing I do know... Is that whoever this is, they attacked me last night in my room. But why? How did they wind up dead in here? Hmm. Their heart isn't beating. They're not breathing. All signs of life have come to a complete stop. Thanks to the knife that's been driven into their stomach. Their clothes are stained a bright red. It appears the bleeding has stopped. But the blood that's still... That's there is still wet. Be careful... You don't touch it and get some on you. Uh, um... How can you be so calm at, at a time like this? Who is it? Face and body are all hidden, and so I don't have a clue. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's a girl at least. Huh? Ah, how can you tell? Well... well, I think I see the outline of her chest, and just the general shape of the body. Yeah, the more I look, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Really, then it could be... <laughs> Okay then, yes. let's just tear the mask clean off. Come on. Wait, don't. By the time he called out, it was already too late. Tuckle's hands shot out toward the mask. And in the next instant, there was a blinding light and a deferring roar. The body blew up. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> it blew up, 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 it blew up. Holy fuck, it blew up. My vision started to darken. I prepared, prepared to pass out, but then, hurry up, put out the fire. As my consciousness attempted to float away, that voice reached up and pulled me, pulled it back down to her. Someone pressed something into my hand. It was a bucket of water. Come on, dump the water on it. Uh, okay. The upper half of the body was on fire. I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Sploosh. Thankfully, that was enough to put out the fire. It died down, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning. We have no idea who it is now. I guess that took care of it. But what the hell, man? It, it exploded. What did you I had say? a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now the body... What? What? It's burnt to a crisp. That's beyond well done, man. Don't compare it to a steak, I'll never be able to eat a steak again! And now that the body's charred, I really have no idea. How are we gonna find out who it was? Hmm. Who isn't here right now? Huh. We consider who's not here. That will quickly narrow down who it must be. There's only one person missing. Uh, um... It's Kyoko? Kyoko? And that dead body is Kyoko? No, that can't be right. Calm down, I didn't say it was Kyoko. What? But I mean, who else? <laughs> there is one other person. In other words, the mastermind. Huh? What? 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 The, the mastermind? What the Come on, there's no way the mastermind got charred, boiled, get serious. Hmm. I agree, normally the idea wouldn't be worth considering. But I have reason to believe it may be true. The Monokuma doll.
My story being dead would explain the other matter, wouldn't it? Monokuma can hardly move around if its master is dead, right? But... But that corpse is a girl, right? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, remember what Alter Ego said. So the, that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all of this. According to the files, the mastermind is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. What the heck? He said the mastermind is some mid-aged dude, right? Which the corpse obviously isn't. And then could that mean the mastermind isn't the headmaster? Is it the teenage girl Kyoko told me about? The ultimate despair. Huh? Huh? Mukuro Ikusaba, 16th student at Hope's Peak. At Hope's Peak. What? What are you talking about? The other day, Kyoko confided me. Confided in me. She said there was a 16th student here in the school. What? I think you'd better tell us everything you know. Well, all Kyoko told me was. Mukuro Ikusaba. We're gonna listen to this again! Yep, that's why there were 16 seats! It sounded like Kyoko thinks Mikuro Ikisabi is the mastermind. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind, I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt in my I'm right. There's another student here, and it's a female. That would match the body's characteristics. So, um, and that phrase, the ultimate despair, sounds super mastermindy, doesn't it? Could it be? Okay, so the mastermind is this girl, Mukaro, and she's a student here. She's the ultimate despair. But if she's been hiding here in the school like some teenage Bigfoot, how'd she wind up burnt to a crisp? None of this makes any sense to just suddenly show up then then die. Hmm. I think we'd better take a closer look at the body. Maybe some clues to help us figure out exactly who it is. Ah, ah hey wait! What? Um Are, aren't we forgetting something? You know, Toko who fucking flew? What? Oh yeah, she totally got blown up. Hmm. Forget about her. I'm sure the explosion vaporized her. Oh, she survived. Oh, she survived. <laughs> what just happened, Master? Stop talking. You declared for the whole world to hear that you would never again inhale a single monocle of oxygen. Oh, then I don't <laughs> mind breathing in the carbon dioxide you exhale. It's enough for me to live. What the heck? This is the strangest back and forth I'd ever seen. Okay. Right now I have to focus on the body. Well then! You should take a closer look at the body one more time. So, um... Watch yourself, Makoto. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. But don't worry, I don't plan on touching the body all that much. I'm not Kyoko after all. Hold on, there's something on the ground there. There's something next next to the body. It's it's a key. Is it what Kyoko took from Monokuma? No, it's not. Obviously, you fucking bat for bat your bra brains. So... It was a different key. Uh... Uh... That's right. The key stolen was shaped like Monokuma. This isn't anything like that. Then this key is... What? <clears throat> what is it? Did you find something? Yeah. It was on the ground near the body. I've seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? So even you don't know then. Hmm. Kodo, I'm going to give you a very important task. Huh? I see. Key might give you access to certain areas we thought were locked. You mean so in other the bio words, lab, the data center, the headmaster's room, and the dorm rooms on the second floor. It's in your hands. So I'm your end boy now, huh? I know it's the data room. Because it looks like 
it would be for the data center. Door to the center room was definitely locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. When I went to enter the key, I'd found the garden into the keyhole. Fits. And this is the key to the data center. I managed to unlock the data center. I guess all that running around paid off. I have to go tell everyone else. I immediately headed back to the garden. So they're back. How'd it go? Well, the key doesn't actually go to anything. <laughs> I found out which room the key goes to. It's the data center, down on the fourth floor. Huh? And we can get into the data center now? I see. Interesting. But why did the now deceased have that key on them? Hmm. I suppose we'll just have to go to the data center and find out. Yeah, I think you're right. Hmm. Here we are. Looks like the door is still unlocked. Um... Hey, so when you open that door, there's not going to be another huge kaboom like before, right? Uh, um... You're asking that question now? Hmm. Don't worry, we have Makoto. What? In other words, it's in your hands again. Hmm. It means I trust you. That's an absolute lie. I'm just being used. <laughs> he goes across the fucking room. It's like I've been blown up. Not again. I reached out and put my arm on the door, closed my eyes, and tried to clear my head. With a silent prayer, I slowly opened the door, and it opened. Nothing happened. After making sure I was still alive, I slowly opened my eyes. Whoa. In a world... In a word, the room was... Strange. I mean, all the rooms up till now were strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school here. Fears were lurking beneath the surface. The room is filled with that kind of dread. What? What? Hey, that's... Hiro extended a trembling hand and pointed. Look at all those monitors on the wall. Look at what they're showing. That's us. This one displayed a different section of the school. The dorms, the classrooms, every part of the school was covered. But this is... What? It's a direct feed from every single surveillance camera. All the cameras in the school feed back to this room. And they're just playing here on these monitors. So that's it. So the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. <gasps> to watch us? <laughs> and this room is it's all clear. a mastermind's private room, without a doubt. The mastermind's a room. That's how you guys make sense. So the mastermind was here, watching us. <laughs> then I think this settles it. Hmm. hmm. The body in the garden, they had the key to this room. It could only mean one thing. Sure. That was the body of Mukuro Ikisaba. She was the mastermind. Huh? And the mastermind is dead? Like, really, really dead? <laughs> it would seem so. What? What? For serious? <laughs> it's too bad they had to go and die before Master could kill them himself. The mastermind is dead. Could that really be true? Does that mean it's all over? Because I mean, that body... Whatever happened, they obviously didn't die a natural death. So who was it that... But... But if the Mastermind really is dead, that means we can finally get out of this hellhole. We gotta hurry up and find the exit, come on! That's enough. No, we have to check this area thoroughly first. Huh? huh? What about the exit? <laughs> The mastermind truly is dead, we can leave whenever we decide to. But right now, we need to find out why the mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. Hmm. And I'm bothered by the fact that the mastermind was obviously murdered. What? What? Murdered? So you think so too, huh? Naturally. Naturally. There's a fucking knife in, his, hmm. in her chest! The state of the corpse makes it plain as day. There's absolutely no doubt. The mastermind was murdered. But why? Why is it gotta be that way? I mean, who could have even done it? Such That's exactly why I said we need to investigate the purpose and identity of the mastermind. I'm telling you, 
Now do you understand, you useless insect? You're banned from talking to Master ever again. Mastermind's purpose and why they were killed. This room may very well hold the answers to those questions. After all, the Mastermind must have spent who knows how much time here. Hmm. Okay then, let us begin our search. It's time to uncover the identity of the Mastermind. Huh. Okay, what time is it? I need to stop picking at my lips. Alright, so let's just look at a couple things. Uh, we're getting close to the end of our session here, so... There's nothing showing up on this one. Okay. There's nothing showing up on this one. Oh, hey look, next to that TV. Isn't that a TV antenna? How about that? It is. It's just like the one my grandma uses. It's totally one of those high def antennas. Wait, so if we hook up that antenna, we could watch TV? Huh. Oh, did someone say TV? You know? Well, well, Saturday morning Kina's here. Hmm. Uh, are you talking about me? Okay. Anyway, if we can watch TV, let's do it. Come on, come on. You know? Ah, uh, you're all starved for information from the outside world, huh? Hmm. All right, let me work my magic, and you'll be kind. You'll you'll be quantum leaping your way to TV land before you know it. I mean, I get the reference, but what's he talking about? All right, go 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 go. Okay. Hmm. A bunch of computers all lined up. They look like high performance PCs. Nothing like the an antique laptop Alter Ego was installed on. Hmm. They're all on, but they seem to be locked. So, what? We can't do anything? Just use your fighting spirit to force your way in. Huh? What century are you f from? The Mastermind must have been using these to monitor the network and Alter Ego. Hmm. You may well be right about that. What? There's no point in thinking about it now. You're right. Huh. No matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras are following our every move. I mean, they're absolutely everywhere. How many cameras does this place have anyway? Yeah, it's weird that there's a camera in here. There's really a ridiculous number of monitors here. And the mastermind has been using them all to spy on us. As long as I ha have this, huh? Look at Master Go. It's like a feast for the uh, eyes. How much is a m monthly membership? So we looked at that. We looked at that door, right? This door is kind of creepy. It's got a picture of Monokum on it, which could be what could be inside. No luck. Um, Door's locked, huh? What if you use the key that opened this door? Let's give it a try, just in case. Nope. No good. It won't even fit in the keyhole. Oh. Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. The Mastermind's dead, right? So nothing's gonna happen to us. Yeah, I guess you're right. The Mastermind isn't dead, is it? Is she? Can't stop thinking about that door with Monokuma's picture on it. Worrying about it isn't going to be any good. Hina's right, the Mastermind's gone, so there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. You know? Huh, huh, huh. huh? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. What's wrong? Hmm. Good news for all you Saturday morning kitties out there. I think I got the TV working. <gasps> really? Hmm. Now, all we gotta do is switch it on. What? Then do it. <sighs> Freaking idiot mastermind. Oh, you guys need to cut free from your regrets from the outside world. What the heck? And they were sitting here watching TV the whole time. They really thought they could get away with it. <laughs> huh? Huh? Huh. This is... Hmm. It's the feed coming from the surveillance camera monitoring this room, isn't it? What the heck? Huh. It's weird. Come on. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? That's really weird, huh? 
You're weird. Weird in every way possible. And not just weird, super weird. What? But this TV isn't hooked up to anything. But the antenna. So how is it showing the camera feed? Oh fuck, this has been like... Oh god, it's been like a murder game that people watch or something. No. Did you try changing the channel? Uh, um, oh, good idea. Let's give it that a try. Here, went through each channel one by one. But on every channel, it was just us. It's a live feed of us standing there in the data center. What the heck? What the heck? Hmm. Is it broken or something? Could it be? No, there must be some kind of trick to it. Some weird setup. Hmm. A trick? What kind of trick? Actually, I'm not sure, but huh? Hmm? Huh? Huh? Wh huh? What? What? <laughs> Been a while, you friggin' bastards! Monokuma? How? You're supposed to beat the dead. <laughs> Me dead? No! Don't be freaking stupid. Hey, you're acting kind of strange. Something seems different. Of course I'm different. Evolution is perfectly natural. After all, I've been hibernating for two years already. I'm not even. It's been like half a day at most. How are you alive again? Oh yeah, that's it. Poohoo! The look on your faces right now is sublime. What's with... Um, that's what I wanted to see. The moment you were, went from hope to despair. Don't tell me you pretended to be dead all for this moment. He did. He's a bastard like that. <laughs> why would I bear? Why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who should pretend to be dead when you see a bear. I mean, that's totally laughable. It makes me laugh. I'm gonna laugh now. <laughs> well, now. And that's that. Sing. Well, it's almost time to cut off your past, so full of hope, and begin to dis despair at the future ahead of you. I want you all to have way more fun in this killing game. You can't be serious. We have to keep going. Let no, you're we supposed to get out of here. Get out of here? Are you still obsessed with getting out of here? How do you not get it? There is no getting out of here. And besides, this life isn't all bad, you know. I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life no matter where you are. Are you serious? This place is the worst. If it's the worst, does that mean you're in despair? <laughs> well now. Cool. I'm pooped from all that laughing. I guess I'll just get to the point now. The point? Hey, um... You guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed. That TV is, is an essential part of your school life here. What? I knew I knew it was hiding a secret of some kind. What the heck? But I connected the antenna, so why is it just showing us the surveillance feed? <laughs> Look how attentive they are now. Well then, I'm gonna let you in on a blood gushing secret and tell you about it. That TV is absolutely, without a doubt, displaying the signal coming in on the antenna. Huh? huh? But what does that mean? It's displaying the signal, but it's just us standing here. Ah, you're so stupid. Don't you get it? Fine, I'll just tell you. This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. What? Extreme. This killing game is being broadcasted live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. Doesn't matter how many times it says it. I don't under don't know what it's supposed to mean. I mean, even if I understood the words, I'm not sure I'd understand the, the deeper meaning. What? Broadcast live to the entire world? What kind of bad joke is this? But that's... It can't be. Are they taking over the airwave somehow? Oh, the camera feed no. is being broadcast? No way, that's impossible. Phew. That kind of overconfidence is a major weakness in your crisis management system, you know that? All you need is one weird trick that I found, and hijacking the airwaves is easy mode. Are you being serious right now? 
I heard a kind of creaking. That sound was coming from my own mind. Like a boat tossing in the ocean. My mind had begun to creak and groan. Hey, um... Everything was a meaning. Everything has a meaning, you know. All those hints I gave you. All those tantalizing tidbits about the school's mysteries. Even me luring you here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all for my captive audience to show them true despair. Like they'd never seen it before. It became the direction of a despair-based production. This is the ultimate reality show. That is best in despair entertainment. What are you saying? You're lying. If this is on TV, the police and everyone else would be going crazy. Uh, um... Yeah, there's no way they wouldn't have tried to come and rescue us. Actually... What if they already did? Huh? Yes, indeed. But then again, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at their TV to try and warn you, but who would actually come here to help? Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know personally, though, so whatever. This can't be. But to take control of all communications like that, you need an astronomical amount of resources. <laughs> yep, so how, how could things have come this far? Yeah! Well, that's a secret. There's something you all need to do first, remember? What? Of yeah, duh. There's the little business of... A body has been discovered. A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! Huh. Class trial? Do you mean? <laughs> I'll leave Monokuma the next Monokuma file. file right here. Everyone give it all you've got, okay? Okay, excitement. things are gonna get pretty crazy from here on out. You're in for a heck of a I ride. Can't wait. I can't wait. And then, she was gone. Reality was incomprehensible. Truth hopelessly out of reach. All we were left with was despair. We stood there for I don't know how long, frozen in place. Couldn't think it took everything I had just to keep myself standing upright. Uh -huh. I don't understand any of this. What's despair entertainment and how is he still alive? I'm sick of I thought that finally, finally we could get out of here. Yeah. And plus what did he say about a class trial? Well, that part's obvious. The class trial is the class trial. What it means is that at this point we have to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out killed Kyoko. What? What the heck? What are you talking about? I thought Mikuro and Sibir was the one that who died. The victim was female, right? Mikuro certainly fulfills that condition. If Monokuma is still alive and active, that means that the mastermind Miku Mikuro Kasabi isn't dead. So naturally, that body can't belong to her, so it must be Kyoko. There's no other possibility. The body is Kyoko's. Kyoko's been murdered. No, it isn't, isn't possible. Because, because I don't know anything about her yet. I don't even know who she really is. To have it end like this? I know, right? If Kyoko actually died, that would be very upsetting. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. Whether you believe it or not, doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. You refuse to believe it's it's your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself myself anyway we'd better get we better begin but if we're gonna have a class trial that means the killer that's right correct it must be someone participating in our school life wait so you're saying one of us has killed Kyoko Well, that's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Huh? huh. What you just said. Stop talking. I don't have time to explain now. There's a variable mountain of issues I need to confirm. <laughs> I'm going to begin my search. You value your lives. You'll put everything you have into this. That is how this game works, after all. Alright. Sorry to leave it on a cliffhanger like this, but that's the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope 
I'm lagging again. Why does it do that? I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys comment and subscribe to all the cool stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.